Following the N3 from Johannesburg, you will find Clarence via either the R26 or the R57. This is a beautiful and tranquil town that can give you that much needed rest for the soul. It also offers some fun activities. Let's go explore. Known as the jewel of the free state, one of the biggest attractions in Clarence is its arts and crafts. And you can spend a day walking around the town to see the many galleries and studios. Behind me is the gallery, one of many exquisite art galleries here in Clarence that showcase the works of proudly South African artists, one of them being Carla van den Berg. Carla, taking a look at your works on the wall here, I get a very whimsical, romantic feel coming across. What inspires you and your work? I love to travel, so travel is often my inspiration. Travel overseas, this is scenes of Paris, so I love to go there. Driving into the town of Clarence, I think it's very difficult to ignore the beauty, but what do you love most about living here? I think it's a privilege to live in Clarence because of the beautiful scenery, but also because it's an art frop of South Africa and to be part of the artist living in Clarence is very special and, and it gives you a platform where lots of tourists come to you to look at the art. The bustling town centre is the place to be for some retail therapy. In the main road you'll find everything from quaint antique stores to co-op retailers. After a busy day of shopping it's off to the local hangout where bread can quench his thirst. One of the major institutions in this town is the Clarence Brewery. Every year in February they host their craft beer festival, which is something you definitely want to experience when you're here in Clarence. Here we go, man. Cheers. With its central location in town, Patcham Place offers tranquil accommodation and each guest is warmly welcomed by the owners, Richard and Carol. Well, why it's special is because it's one road away from the main square in town. And if you've driven all the way from Joburg, you arrive here, park your car, and you never get into it again. You don't have to drive anywhere. So I think that is the main attraction. The other attraction is you step out onto your balcony and you've got mountain. It's just one of those tranquil places. When you wake up in the morning, there's one thing to do, and that is have the best breakfast in town, which they say is at 278 on Mains. And the word on the street is that they make a great omelette. Well, we've got a wide variety, so we cater to every kind of breakfast need, whether it's sweet or savoury. We've got lovely omelettes, lovely English breakfast, or we cater to the sweet tooth with a lovely French toast or apple and berry crumble tart. When it comes to activities in the area, you are definitely spoiled for choice. And with such spectacular surroundings, you want to be spending your time outdoors. I've just arrived at Bockport Holiday Farm to try my hand at archery and horseback riding. Krista, you have a magnificent farm. What are some of the activities that you guys offer here? Well, as you can see here, horse riding is our forte and our biggest activity, but we also do archery, clay pigeon shooting, and hiking trails in the mountains. And the farm is in our family since 1865, and uh, we've been opened up to the public to do this activities uh, 26 years now. This is truly spectacular. There's no better way to explore this part of the world. Just look at this. For more exquisite local destinations like these, visit shotleft.coza or share your stories and pics by tweeting at shotleft or using hashtag shotleft. Why not take a shot left and escape the big city? Clarence is the perfect getaway. With great art, restaurants and fun activities, as well as luxury guest houses, you can't ask for a better place.